I'm just gonna say what we're all thinking. Race Team Sarge is a pretty boring diecast variant. I mean, he's not like the most boring. I'd say that McQueen with Tar is probably the most boring diecast variant. But, you know, I'd say Race Team Sarge is uh, close to that point. Since all he is is just Sarge with a 95 sticker on the side. He also has a different facial expression, but that expression has now been given to several other versions of Sarge, like the Precision Series one. But, even though he's a pretty boring variant, he's one that I didn't have until I found him in a store just last month, and now, he's going to be part of my collection. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2020 Blue Desert re-release of Race Team Sarge, who is in the London Chase series, and is unfortunately using the regular Sarge artwork. <sighs> they have their own artwork for Race Team Sarge, they just didn't use it here. Um... I really like having Sarge here be a part of the London Chase series. It adds some variety. The rest of the members of McQueen's pit crew, Race Team Luigi and Guido, and Mater and Fillmore, were released in the World Grand Prix series, so I like that Sarge was released in London Chase, just to change it up a bit. The Lemon's evil plans end in a thrilling chase through the busy city streets of London. We also have Palace Danger Finn, Holly, Fighting Face Mater, and this Sarge. I've reviewed all three of these now, and of course, the review you're currently watching is of Sarge. I think I have all the cars in this year's London Chase series, with the exception of Josh Coolant, who I really want to get. Corporal Josh Coolant, he's such a cool diecast. Um, I'm still yet to find him in stores, and I may just have to resort to buying him online. We'll just have to see. I don't usually like buying new cars releases online, because usually I know I'll find them in stores eventually, but he came out back in like March or April, so I don't know. I may just have to order him. And of course, up here we have this picture of Holly, McQueen, Mater, and Finn being surrounded by the lemons, who, you know, you really can't see the lemons in this picture, just a few here and here, which is ironic because there are no lemons in this series either. I don't know, just something weird I thought I'd point out. Anyway, though, let's get this guy out of the package, of course. I think it's really a shame that they didn't release any lemons in this series. It's always nice to get more lemons, even if they're just re-releases. It's a group of cars that you could really never have enough of, especially if you uh, do a series like I do. So here is Sarge out of the package, Race Team Sarge. He's the first Sarge in my collection that was made in Thailand, and he's definitely a far brighter color um, than other variants of Sarge. Wow, he's a much brighter green. Um... There's definitely more of a notable, noticeable change in color between the main part and the roof area, too. That's definitely interesting. Much brighter than the other variants of him. He has this pretty tired expression. This was the first use of that expression, and as I said earlier, it's been used several times since. Got the star on his hood alongside the number here on the side, 984673, of course, on either side. Moving on to the side, his uh, patch there has been covered up by a 95 sticker, just like the rest of the members of Team 95. They all, of course, have these stickers on the side. Interesting to be covering up one of his like military patches with the sticker, but then again, there's really no other place you could put it where it uh, would look good. Of course, moving on to the back, we have his spare tire, which... Once again, unfortunately, is not colored in. This is something that's always bothered me. I used to bring it up in my reviews all the time, I think. Uh, they don't color in the spare wheel there. It's all just the same color as the tire, which is really unfortunate. Of course, that is not an issue on the Precision Series variant. We also have this little pouch on the back with a buckle around it. And his license plate, 41WW2, of course, from 1941 World War II. There's the other side, and there is his base. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. As I said at the beginning of the review, really not that interesting of a Sarge variant, but I think it's pretty interesting that he's such a different color than the other releases. I think that's just because this is his Made in Thailand variant, though. I'll see you guys next time, where I will most likely not be reviewing Miguel Camino. It's basically a running joke at this point that I always put Miguel Camino up, um over here on my review that I release on Thursday and then just ignore him until the next Thursday. Um, so once again, I'll say don't expect tomorrow's review to be of Miguel Camino. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.